Hey guys, so I'm out of my own business and I got three boxes I wasn't expecting, three packages I wasn't expecting. So I plan on opening these very soon. So stay tuned guys, stay tuned. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm working out. So it's been a while since I worked out. Today we're doing chest. Yesterday we did legs. Today we're doing chest. And I used to work out with like, it was like 265 or something like that. Four sets of 10. And now I'm barely working out. 195, man, cause it's been like a year. But muscle memory, I'm gonna predict I'll be at 225 by the end of the month working out with 225 and 265 within the next three months. That's my prediction. All right guys, I promise you, I'm on autopilot and this is 100% safe. 100% safe, promise. Now the reason why I uh, preface this with showing you guys that I'm on autopilot is because I wanna talk to y'all real quick. I'm on my way to go pick up the family. We're gonna go do like some, uh, kinda like a Halloween festival. Since trick or treating isn't gonna be a thing, no neighborhood's really doing it. Nobody wants, you know, a whole bunch of people coming to their house and potentially contaminating their house and, and whatnot. So we're not gonna go trick or treating like that, but we're gonna take them to this festival. I feel like it's gonna be safer, it's gonna be out in the open. I'll vlog a little bit so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But thankfully, my family and myself, we've been healthy this entire time. We haven't gotten sick. And so we're super grateful about the, that, although I know a lot of people have gotten sick, who have gotten COVID. But luckily, everybody's been able to beat COVID-19. But the reason why I wanted to talk to you guys real quick was to let you guys know a couple things. So if you've been waiting on expansion pads or compressors, we should be all caught up by early November. So we got inventory coming in any day now so super excited about that man because it's been crazy but i gotta tell you guys i really appreciate everyone who's been patient and supportive it's really helped us out during these times so you know i really do appreciate you guys and the other thing is if you're part of the academy we have been dropping a lot of content make sure when you log in you scroll to the bottom of the home page you can see the calendar of upcoming live streams and pieces of content that we're, we're dropping this upcoming wednesday first week of november we are having my mortgage loan officer, my loan officer, mortgage broker, he's gonna get on to teach us how to get approved and how to get financing for investment properties, which is completely different from getting a loan for primary residence, which is a house that you're gonna occupy, that you're gonna live in. It's completely different, it's a different ball game. But I always tell people like, have a goal to get into one investment property a year. There's so many reasons for it and people don't really understand it, but I'm gonna try to break it down as simple as possible. Now for one, I would try to buy your own house first. Just because if you're gonna live in it for two years, three years, it's kind of like a forced savings account. When you move out of a rental, that money that you put in, if you're paying two grand a month or whatever, that's $24,000 a year gone. You know what I mean? Where with a house that you occupy, that you live in and you have a mortgage on, at least you're paying down the loan. And that's always gonna be there. If you lived in something for a year and your mortgage is two grand a month, I mean, think about that. That's almost $75,000 that you pay towards your mortgage well, minus the interest, right? But even then, the interest is a write-off. So it's still money in your pocket or money saved as opposed to just it just being gone, vanished, 75 grand, right? I would consider buying your house that you live in if you plan on living in that area for two, three years. But if you're gonna get into investment properties, I would consider doing that every year, especially if you're self-employed, for a few reasons. We've already talked about paying down the loan. And the best part about having an investment property is that you're not paying down the loan. Your renters are paying down the loan. And if you got a good enough deal, you'll probably cash flow, which means you'll be making money after you pay your mortgage payment, after you pay your taxes and your insurance, you might pocket an extra three, 400 bucks. I don't know what you gotta do those numbers. You have the benefit of paying down a loan. Somebody else is paying it down for you. You're the benefit of cash flow. You're the benefit of the home appreciating. And during these times, if you would have bought a rental property a couple years ago, <laughs> the appreciation has been insane, over like 20% on a lot of markets. So that's another reason. But being self-employed, if you're a barber, the other big reason is taxes. You can depreciate big chunk of that property and save so much in taxes. And these taxes, or what you would call ad backs. So you know how people would be like, you can't write too much off or you're not gonna get approved for stuff. Well, when you write off rental property, investment properties, you can add whatever you write off back onto 
your income. Not just that, but the cash flow that you're making counts as income as well. So to me, it's a crazy deal. It's a no brainer. And if you can pull off, you know, I don't know what market you guys are in, but let's say you're in a market where you can get into rental properties, I don't know, for 100, 120, 150 K, you're going to save 25, 30 grand a year. So you can get your 20% down payment, 25% down payment and buy a rental property every single year. And so if that's something that sounds interesting to you, that's why on the Academy, we are going to bring on the loan officer because this is about mentoring you to have a successful career to have something to show for all the work you put behind the chair there's something beautiful about doing what you're passionate about on a day-to-day -day basis but even better when you can build a legacy doing it and what I mean by that is something you can leave behind to your family so that you change your family tree I don't know that's what I'm about I wake up in the morning excited every day to put my family in a position where generationally we're gonna continue to level up all right, let me get back on to piloting this vehicle. Let me get off this autopilot. I'm gonna show you guys this Halloween thing that I'm taking the kids to, and then we're gonna do this unboxing. It was gonna be like a fair, so YouTube, don't judge me. Dre made me come out here. This is Dre's fault. Yeah, that's a trap, that's a trap. I'm wearing my mask, I ain't taking no risk. Social distancing. Call me, call me sheep, call me what you want. Still living my life, but doing it responsibly. <laughs> Got it! <he. laughs> All right, guys, so I got home. I showed you guys earlier. Had no idea these packages were coming in. Justine's afraid. She thinks they're a bomb. She thinks there might be a bomb in them, but I think we're good. So we're gonna open these up and see what's in here. I have no idea who this is from. I have no idea what's in them, but we're gonna open these up and hopefully we'll be safe. Ready? Thank you for reviewing my product. I wouldn't be right if your team didn't have all the flavors. Mm. DC, yo. DC, I respect that bro, and I appreciate it. And I'm sure the channel appreciates it. I'm sure my team is gonna really appreciate it. So hold on, let's see, let's see what's in here. Oh man, got a kid's cape. Mm. Which I don't think I've ever had a kid's cape. The shop is gonna love this. That one looks nice. Yeah, it looks nice, it looks good. Oh, it's see-through. What? The shop is gonna so share this. they can this. use their iPads and stuff? Yeah, they can still use their iPad. The shop is gonna love this. Is this like a, ooh, the all black joint. Another one, but the all black one. Let me see, is this the same one as the one I, I, I unboxed before? Oh yeah. So this one, I'll probably actually put a, a 245 patch on. DC, I appreciate it. I appreciate it, bro. That's crazy. That's love. All right, let's see what's in here. Like they hear me talking, but they, they see a box. Like I've been looking for a videographer, and it should be you, because we're always together. Sure. But I'm gonna have to hire one, because five years after having the channel. Still ain't dead. All right, ready? Check this out, what we got here. I didn't know he was doing all this. What the, what in the world? A ring light? So a ring light. I need that. What do you mean you need this? I need that. I was gonna use this for like my live streams. I'm sure DC wouldn't mind. What is this? A rechargeable sensor headlamp. Okay. What is going on, yo? GMB Pro Snap. Power banks. Look at all these power banks. Yo, headlines, I come with gifts. Wednesday when I get to the shop, I come with gifts. Look at this. More? More power banks. Beam, if you need power banks, let me know. Sean Cuts here, if you need power banks, let me know. S-Craft Blends, Dre, if y'all need some power banks. Toom Doc, Danny, Perez, Loco, y'all need some power banks. We got a bunch of them here. What are these? Is that cape? No, it's ain't no damn cape, look. Oh, it's a mat. It's a mat. A floor mat. For like house calls. It's waterproof and it's anti-slip. Mm -hmm. This is cool, man. I don't think I've ever seen any company make something like this. But you're freaking genius. You're genius, bro. You know why? Because now more than ever, house calls are a thing. This is genius. That's crazy. I'm assuming this is a cake. All right, next box. You see companies, barber companies, like, you see what I'm saying? Like, this is how you treat a YouTuber. <laughs> all right, this is the biggest box out of all of them. What is in here? Nah, yo. Nah, yo. More bags? That's crazy. These bags are like 150 a piece. I got five of them. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yo, I gotta get one of these. S Craft, you want one? Beam, you want one? Sean, you want one? That is crazy. I might have to get this one though. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know. I don't know. Wow, look at all the colors. Mm -hmm. 
I didn't even know he had all these colors. This blue one's nice too, though. Don, mm -hmm. Shannon, Beam. I might just have to keep all these. Have one for every trip. Once the door is open, once quarantine is over, and we can start flying out to the show. So I might just have one for every weekend. You feel me? That's crazy. Hey, GMB Pro. That's much love, man. That's crazy. I did not expect this. I had no idea you were gonna ship all this stuff, but it really means a lot. It means so much to me. I don't care what nobody says. I'm rocking with y'all, man. I'm rocking these bags right here. Cause ain't a lot of companies that show YouTubers love like this. I feel like Instagram barbers get all the love. This is crazy. All right, so man, I've never been sent so many things from a company, but this is dope. This is dope. Too dope. Wow. I don't know what to say, except for thank you. Really, really means a lot. Thank you. I remember before YouTube and all that stuff, man, I always heard about barbers getting like free stuff. I always thought like barbers who got free stuff, they were sponsored or I don't know how barbers were getting free stuff like this. And I can honestly tell you, like there's some companies that they give you free stuff because they want your feedback. Some companies that just, they just appreciate and they just appreciate the exposure that you give them. They give you a, free, a bunch of free stuff, but they didn't have to send me all this. I already did a video showing off their bag. I did it because I want to always be sharing new products and new companies with you guys. Any Thing that's elevating our industry I want to share with you guys with my followers especially like stuff that I think is gonna benefit us you know travel bags is something that it's hard to find good ones but the fact that obviously the owner of this company he's definitely showing appreciation for the love you know what I'm saying I'm just kind of in shock I got comments in the past where people were asking you know how do you get free stuff what I would say is a lot of people are kind of entitled they expect to get paid for doing this stuff they expect people to find them or they just expect some type of like spot sponsorship deal before they do something like this and for me it's never about that it's like I just do it organically and um, some companies will just be like will know that you organically you know show their products love on your platform and you'll never hear from them you guys know the companies I'm talking about some companies that you organically you know share their product with your followers and you get a care package like this I'm a business owner I have my own brand with 245 and this is the type of stuff that we do but it's nice to see other companies doing it for other barbers. So, DC, thank you, bro. Appreciate the handwritten letter. I'm rocking with the bags, bro. I'm rocking with the bags. That's it, guys. Appreciate y'all. Make sure you comment below. Let me know what you thought about the video. Make sure you subscribe. We drop daily content. And smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. <laughs>